Dove, how are you doing? This is the Keto Queen. I'm, I'm so excited about Mara tonight. I hope you guys have had a great weekend. I know I came on just a few minutes earlier to show you some lemon pound cakes that were so yummy. But now we are ready for dinner time. I'm making some new vegetables tonight. I've never made these before, so I'm super excited. They sounded so good. I found them on Pinterest. Um, I don't know this weird that light back there is. Okay, hang on. Let me pull this in. That don't help either. Anyway, I got those streaked now. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> I've got my oven on 350. No, I'm sorry. I've got my oven on 450. And what we're going to do before we really get good and started is show you how I've uh, prepared. We're going to make some cauliflower mac and cheese. Yes, I know people have done cauliflower mac and cheese, but I saw this yesterday on Pinterest and it sounded so good and it looked so easy. Actually, Haley found this on TikTok and shared it with me. So we just cut up our um, cauliflower into uh, uh, florets. And I know my husband doesn't like cauliflower rice, but I really do think he's gonna love this. So all we did was cut this up and put it on parchment paper. I'm gonna put it in my oven for uh, 20 minutes on 450. So I'm turning my oven on 450. This our camera stands acting crazy. All right, 450. Ooh, it's hot too. All right. So I'm gonna start my timer so that cauliflower rice is gonna be ready in 20, not cauliflower rice. Let me start all over. I'm gonna slow down. Hi, everybody. <laughs> This is Amy Dad, the Keto Queen. I hope you've had a great weekend. <laughs> it's been nutty around the house today. I was going to have a lazy day, but I don't know what happened to that. It didn't happen. So I'm going to start over and go slow. We're making two new vegetables tonight that I've never made before. I'm super excited about them. And uh, one is a cauliflower mac and cheese that Haley found on TikTok and shared with me. It sounded so good and it looked so easy. I just cut up my cauliflower in florets and we put it in the oven on parchment paper for 50, 20 minutes. As soon as that's done, we're going to start making our cheese sauce. Yes, I know. I'm so excited. <laughs> and then also I'm making a double cooked cabbage. Now I love cabbage. We fry cabbage all the time. You can fry cabbage in bacon and onion. You can do bacon, I mean just onion and cabbage. You can do uh, the bait um, steak like cabbage. I love cabbage. So this time we're making a double cooked cabbage. I've never heard of it before, but I run across it on Pinterest and it sounded so good. So all I've done before you guys got on here is I took some bacon, cut it up into small pieces, and I got my bacon here over, whoop, I got my bacon over here on the sidelines ready to go in. Now I always do more than it asks for, so I made a lot of bacon. It only calls for four pieces. <laughs> and then I mixed up an onion real small. And I sliced up uh, very small strips of cabbage. So all we've done is to cook this cabbage. I need to get me some seasonings real quick. We're going to season this with paprika. Okay, I'm just making a mess. I don't know why I'm in such a hurry. I think because I've invited my son and his girlfriend over here, and I'm just like, I don't know why I'm in a hurry. I just need to slow down. I'm making a mess. Okay, so we're going to use paprika to season this cabbage and salt and pepper. Let me grab my salt and pepper. And we're going to do some Italian uh, pork chops tonight. So just some salt. You want to make sure you have a really good pink Himalayan salt. As you guys come on here, let me know where you're watching from and what you are doing for dinner tonight. We're cooking a little early. Used to I'd always did Sundays, like 3 or 3.30. But here lately, um, we've been cooking a little later. My son's girlfriend usually works until 5.30, but she's off today. Where is my seat and my spoons? We're going to put some paprika in here. Where's my directions? Here they are. <laughs> We're going to use uh, da, 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 a half a teaspoon of paprika. Let me find me a half teaspoon. I used uh, one head of cabbage and I just sliced it up really, really thin. So again, I took uh, some bacon. I cut up the bacon and I cooked it first and got it out of my way. And then I took a small onion and just minced it up really small. And I cooked the onion and the bacon grease. And then I added some really thin sliced cabbage pieces. And I've cooked that cabbage and the onion together. And I just added salt and pepper and this paprika, half a teaspoon of paprika. You want a sweet paprika, not the smoked kind. And I didn't know if that'd be enough, but it's already turned it like the little orange flavor. Orange flavor. Orange color. I guess y'all just think I'm crazy. I don't know what in the world's wrong with me. I haven't been on live for a week and a half, it seems like, so I'm really nervous. Why am I nervous? <laughs> Why am I nervous to talk to y'all? I'm, I'm usually never nervous. <laughs> Nobody is saying anything though. I've got a lot of friends. What are you guys doing for dinner tonight? That's low carb or keto friendly, just curious. And let me show you the muffins we made. Oh my goodness, they're so good. I broke my fast with one of these. I sure did. <laughs> they are so little. Two carbs per muffin when you use my recipe with my ingredients, which is a Nature's Eats Almond Flour. But y'all, they're so good so lemony oh they're so good so i broke my fast today with one of these 
two carbs in a muffin when you use my almond flour. Uh, if you're using a different uh, almond flour, you have to count your own ingredients to come up with your carb count. But guys, they're so good. You can put them in a seal tight, keep them on the counter, or put them in the refrigerator, eat them one at a time when you need that sweet treat. So yummy. All right, so we just cooked this cabbage down with the onion. We added salt and pepper. Now just put that paprika in there. We're just stirring around, make sure those seasonings get in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add my bacon now. Man, this is gonna be so yummy. <laughs> it sounds weird when I tell you what comes next. All right, I'm just gonna put the bacon in. We're baking our um, cauliflower right now. We cut that cauliflower up in small florets and it's just baking on 450 for 20 minutes and then we're gonna take it out and we're gonna get our cheese sauce ready. I texted my son while I go and I said, you need to come on because I'm hungry. <laughs> I've been thinking about this food all day and now I wanna eat. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, it looks good. Now, what comes next is kind of weird. <laughs> it sounds weird, but we're gonna do it because I'm telling you the recipe looked so good. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt and pepper because I always like a lot of salt in my cabbage. I probably need to taste it. Let me stir it up one more time. So I hope you guys have had a great weekend. I have had a great weekend. We had a good time yesterday just hanging out, me and my daughter and my husband. We did a little fun shopping and went to dinner together. Haley got her nails done. And then today I got in the hot tub and we've just been lazy. Uh, I even skipped church today. I know I never skip church, but I skipped church today uh, to hang out with my mom and my Aunt Frances, who I haven't seen in forever, it seems like. All right, I'm gonna taste, I'm gonna taste this, see if I need any more salt. Man, it looks good. Mm-mm. Very good. Oh, maybe a little more salt. I love salt. <laughs> of course, with a good pink Himalayan salt, it takes a lot to get a taste, which is a good thing because you need all those minerals. Make sure you've got a good pink Himalayan salt. Man, y'all, this looks so yummy. Just like it is. We don't even need to do nothing else, but it calls for something else. All right, we are going to spray this casserole dish because I do not want to stick. So I just got some coconut... Uh, olive oil spray, I mean. Spray that down really good. And we're going to pour this into the casserole dish. Ooh. What do you think I was on drugs? I'm so crazy. I don't know what's wrong with me. I haven't done anything but drink water today. <laughs> and had a lemon pound cake. <laughs> Maybe that's what's wrong with me. <laughs> Ooh, looks yummy. All right, look out. I don't know if y'all say that really good. It looks really, really pretty. Double cooked cabbage. We're not done yet. I said double cooked, all right? So we just cooked this part. <laughs> Let me show you what they say comes next. Sounds really weird, I swear. But I think I'm going to do it because I'm going to trust that it has to be good. If you see it on Pinterest, it's got to be right, right? Like, people always make fun of me. If you see something on the internet, it's got to be true, right? And so... <laughs> I'm sure this has got to be true. We've got 12 minutes left on our cauliflower before we'll start making that cheese sauce. So let me go ahead and finish this up so we can put it in together. So this is the double stuffed cabbage. We've got cabbage with bacon, paprika, salt, and pepper. It looks so good. Let me show you what comes next. So odd, but we're going to do it. We're adding sour cream. <laughs> it says to add a cup of sour cream over the top. Let's see if I find a cup. We're gonna do a whole cup of sour cream. I know it sounds odd, it sounds so weird, but we're gonna do a layer of sour cream. We're just gonna like smooth it over and then we're gonna add some mozzarella cheese. Somebody's here. It's probably my husband. I better hurry up and do this before he comes in. Or my son, he'll see this and say, what, I need that? No, kids are picky. My son's 21. And he's just now starting to really try new food, so I'm so excited that he's doing that. He actually asked me to cook him cabbage last week for the first time. I was like, what? Who took over the body of my son? But I love it. <laughs> Dang it. I'm just really making a mess today. All right, that's not enough. I'm glad I'm not enough. It's the hubs. Did you get a fix for her? My poor Aunt Frances, y'all. She is doing so good. She has learned so much about the computer. She'll tell you she can fix the computer by herself at work. But she needed to put HBO on her TV and couldn't figure it out. So, did they figure it out? Ricky said no. Okay. <laughs> All right, so sour cream. We got one cup of sour cream. Where'd it go? Here it is. What in the heck? Do I got a hole in my sour my cup? I got a hole in my cup, y'all. I just 
crazy. I've got a hole in my cup. Apparently it's all over the place. All right, so we're gonna take a, a cup of sour cream. We're just gonna smooth it over the top. I know it sounds odd. Have y'all done this before? Has anybody had the double cooked um, cabbage? I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. I'm telling you, it smells delicious. It's gonna be good and creamy and cheesy. <laughs> the only time I've ever done like a cheesy cabbage is when I'm making like a, my grandma used to call it goulash, where you put the cheese and the tomatoes. Never done it like this. <laughs> Karen says she loves some cabbage, never tried cauliflower rice mac and cheese. So we're fixing to get that cheese sauce together in just a second, Karen. It's going to be so good. I'm telling you, the recipe when I saw it, I was like, oh, man, I've got to try that. It's going to be good. And even though my husband doesn't like cauliflower rice because we use it as rice substitute, I think he's going to love this uh, cauliflower and cheese. All right, I'm going to get the rest of that. I know this sounds odd, but I think it's going to be delicious. Kind of like a double stuffed or a double cooked potato maybe <laughs> i ain't gonna say that because i have no idea i will tell you guys yes, if this is any we have hbo going for oh well thank you i'm sure she is very excited is there a movie they wanted to watch huh? is there a movie or something they wanted to watch oh they got a thousand movies they want to watch all right it's good enough ready to move on okay now we've got a layer of sour cream just a, just a cup it's not crazy amounts now we're gonna put some mozzarella cheese on top. I, my kitchen is a mess. <laughs> I said I always cook easy on Sundays, but I'm telling you this kitchen is a disaster because I've been prepping. I had to cut up cabbage, cut up cauliflower, uh, cut up bacon. I normally do not do this much work in the kitchen, but I want to do something new and fun. And you know, the first time you cook anything, it takes a little bit of, a little bit of effort. All right, so we're just putting some mozzarella cheese on top of this cabbage. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. All right, now it says to cook it for 30 minutes. So my cauliflower is almost done. I only have nine minutes left. So I'm going to go ahead and um, let that finish cooking and then turn the oven down because my top oven is on warmer. Because I'm fixing to just put this stuff in there and keep it warm while I cook my meat. We're going to do a uh, Italian pork chop tonight. I'll show you what the stuffing looks like or the, or the topping. Okay, guys, it's fixing to go into the warming until just till my um, cauliflower's done. <laughs> So now it looks good. It looks good. Okay, let's stick it in here and get it out of the way. Oh. Now we're just keeping that warm until I get ready for my cauliflower. Let me clean this mess up right here. I've got sour cream everywhere. I'm telling you, my husband's going to be so mad when he has to clean his kitchen up tonight. He always helps me with the kitchen. It is a mess. All right, let's see. Do you guys have any questions? What are you doing for dinner tonight and where are you watching from? There's lots of people on here, but nobody's telling me what you're doing for dinner. Are y'all eating pizza or something? That's okay if you are. It's okay to do that every once in a while. But what questions do you have for me while we start prepping for our cheesy sauce for the cauliflower? I'm so excited. <laughs> Let me throw this away. All right, I need another napkin. Okay, we need to get us a saucepan or something. Let's see, I think I'll use, I think I'll use this. I'm gonna use this because it's big and I wanna be able to move it around. Um, I'm going to turn this on low. And what we're fixing to do is take a tablespoon of butter. I'm going to go ahead and get that together. Bring it over here. I've been lost my knife again. I probably used every utensil I have. I probably used every utensil I have in the kitchen. Because <laughs> it's a disaster, I'm telling you. The kitchen is a mess. Jessica says she loves cabbage. I'm so excited about trying this one. Hey, Nicole, you cook all the time awesome stuff. Have you ever tried the double-cooked cabbage? Uh, we just put it into the warmer so I can move it into the oven in just a few minutes. Jessica said she had spaghetti and it wasn't keto. It's okay, Jessica. Don't beat yourself up. It's perfectly fine. It'll be all right. Um, tomorrow is a new day. To the hour is a new hour. And hey, if you made that choice, you already made the choice. It's okay. Uh, hey, Lisa, Carla, Shelby. I see a lot of friends on here. Um, Lisa, Jesse, Karen, Susan. Oh... Oh, thank you, Nicole. <laughs> I just saw your comment. Thank you. <laughs> I've been working on getting some of these 20, 20 inches off, so it's coming off slowly but surely. All right, so we're going to take a tablespoon of butter. I'm not going to cut my cabinet. Tablespoon of butter. Y'all, this is going to be so good. We're going to put this into the skillet. If I can get it unwrapped. I'm going to put this up so it don't start... I'm gonna put it on low heat and we put this up so it don't start melting. I don't want soft butter out. And we're gonna do two ounces of cream cheese. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
every time I saw this. No, couldn't board. All right, two ounces of cream cheese and butter is what we're starting this uh, cauliflower mac and cheese off with. Now we're gonna melt that first. Let me get this uh, sour cream off my stirring spoon. through two rolls of paper towels trying to keep clean while I'm while I'm cooking. Hey Wendy, how are you? Shelby says she's having venison, English peas, potatoes. Oops, not exactly keto. <laughs> I love that, Shelby. Shelby, it's okay. <laughs> you don't have to be keto a thousand percent of the time unless you are strict keto. Uh, I honestly am more lazy keto, which means I really count my carbs only and I love keto, but I don't look at macros and I don't log all my foods. And if I want a slice of pizza, I'm going to have it. And then the next hour is a brand new hour and I start fresh. So I have been living this lifestyle for almost three years. I absolutely love it. I'm working into my three years now in April. I will be celebrating big time. <laughs> Shelby says she needs this recipe. I need your shopping list, my weekly plans. All right, I shall be. I'll send you some information. Hey, Felicia, Patty, Jessica. Sarah says she loves cooked cabbage. It does sound good, but I've never made it before. So let's go ahead and start moving on to this cheese sauce for the cauliflower mac and cheese. We've got one tablespoon of butter and two ounces of cream cheese over here in the skillet. And I'm just cooking it down. And we're gonna add three fourths cup of heavy cream as soon as I finish this. So I guess I should get that out. Um, here's the heavy cream. Let me find me a measuring cup. Lord, I've got a mess. Three fourths cups. I've done used everything over here. <laughs> that's almost done. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. All right, well, I have water on my darn measuring spoons. Three fourths cups. It's almost a cup. I'm just going to do this one. So I got my cup measuring cup. <laughs> All right, I got my oven on 450. We are um, baking that cauliflower for 20 minutes. It's almost done. Amanda says they love cauliflower mac and cheese. I know I've seen you cook it before, Amanda. I don't know if this is the same recipe. Super easy, so I'm probably sure it is. Uh, Felicia's having salad and a sandwich for lunch. That sounds awesome. All right, so we've got our butter and cream cheese, and I'm just cooking it down over here. Let's go ahead and add in our heavy cream so this cream cheese doesn't necessarily burn. I can get it off. Yeah. All right, about three fourths cup. So that's almost a cup. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna keep on cooking down this um, heavy this cream cheese. So I love, love, love cabbage. So I'm really excited about testing out this um, double cooked cabbage. As soon as this cauliflower comes out of the oven, I'm gonna turn my oven down on 350 and cook that for about 30 minutes. We just put it in the warmer just to get it out of my way a few minutes and then we're gonna work on this cauliflower. So after we pull that cauliflower out, we're gonna put this cheese sauce over the top of it and then sprinkle with a little extra cheese on top and we're gonna bake it until the cheese is melted or browned if you wanna turn your broiler on. So, I mean, this is super easy. I just have a mess in my kitchen because I made sweet treats and then I started prepping and then decided, hey, might as well start cooking. <laughs> I started talking to people on uh, Facebook, so I had not cleaned up behind myself, and it is a disaster. All right. Uh, as y'all can see, I've been very lazy today. I haven't put no makeup on. My hair is a hot mess. It's all right. I just threw a, um, clothes on and went to the grocery store and got in the hot tub. It's all I've done today besides cooking. Let me check out this real quick. Ooh, one minute, 55 seconds. All right, guys. If my page is easy to follow and the recipes are easy and good, please share my page. These are not all my recipes. Some things I do make up and put together. Otherwise, I get most of everything from Pinterest or um, like my friend Amanda who's on here. She shared that chicken bacon Caesar, which is on my menu this week. And I'm so excited about cooking it again. <laughs> this is what my crust looks like tonight for our pork chops. We're doing some boneless pork chops. I've got uh, Parmesan cheese with some Italian seasoning and my everything flavor guide seasoning. Uh, you can use anything you want to. You can make any kind of crust you want to. I love my air fryer. So we're just gonna do this super simple. We're just gonna dip the pork chops, put it in the air fryer, and that'll be our meat for the night. But what we're really excited about are, is this, uh, these vegetables. All right, so I've got this cooked down. The cream cheese is almost good and melted. 
So the next thing we're going to do, tell me, Amanda, if this is the same one you use. I've used a tablespoon of butter, two ounces of cream cheese, three-fourths cups of heavy cream, and now we're fixing to add in one and a half cups of cheddar. I need to turn it down. I'm going to take it off a second. And then one and a half cups of cheddar. We're just going to gonna play this by ear here. It's a half cup. My husband's gonna love me tonight. That's <laughs> <His> kitchen. <laughs> he always helps me in the kitchen. Right, so I need another cup of cheddar. Oh Lord of mercy. All right, and we're gonna do a half cup of mozzarella. Good half cup of mozzarella. And now we're gonna put in some stone ground mustard. Where'd I put it at? I did bring it out. What did I do with it? I don't know, where is it? Oh, I got it. Here it is. And then we're gonna put in some stone ground mustard. All right, I don't use this all the time, so this lasts a good while. And there's no necessary amount so I'm just going to squirt them in there. It's going to be good. <laughs> and if you want to put some salt and pepper in there, of course you can. I'll always add salt because pink Himalayan salt is good for us. So add some salt. We're going to melt this cheese. This is our cheese sauce for the cauliflower mac and cheese. I think my son's actually going to like this too. I'm excited for him to try it. Now you can add more uh, cream cheese if you want it thicker and cook it down for a thicker, but this looks really good. This is what our cheese sauce looks like so far. It's got the stone ground mustard, tablespoon of butter, two ounces of cream cheese, cheddar, and mozzarella. Is that the same to you, Amanda? The oven's almost done. Let me check on that cauliflower real quick. Yes, it just come off. Let me turn get this out. So here's the cauliflower. I'm fixing to transfer it over to this baking dish now. And I am gonna spray it just in case. Ow. I'm gonna spray it just in case because I don't wanna mess. Cauliflower. Yes, this is gonna be this is gonna be heavenly all day. All we did was cut these into florets and bake it for 20 minutes on 450. Just you can use a, a, a skinnier, like a flatter pan if you wanted to, like an 8x8 or a 9x13 to make it uh, look like more, but why not? I just put it on these. All right, now we're going to pour it with the cheese sauce. It looks so yummy. I'm actually just going to pour it over there because it looks like... Y'all, I mean, come on. This looks amazing. <laughs> looks cheesy. Right, I am going to stir this around. And I probably am not going to put any more cheese on top of it. I was actually going to spread just a little bit of mozzarella on top, but I don't think I'm going to. I think there's plenty of cheese. <laughs> This is not done. We're going to put it back in the oven to get this cheese really good and bubbly with the cauliflower. But this is our cauliflower mac and cheese. I mean, it's really stringy right now. I hope it's going to be delicious. I'm not sure if this is the one that Amanda uses or not. She says she thinks it's the same. She tried it and it's really good. So, yay. <laughs> My fingers are crossed. It's a lot of cheese. Okay. All this is turned off. So, I'm going to stick this back in the oven. You know what? What the heck? I'm going to put just a little bit of mozzarella on it. Just a little bit. I'm gonna turn this oven on 350 real quick. Give me a second. Just a little. 
And the recipe actually says just to turn your broiler on and get this brown. So what I'm gonna do right now is put this in my warmer because I've gotta get my meat started. And I'm just trying to get everything together so when my son gets here, we can eat. And I can talk with him when he gets here instead of cook. So I'm gonna stick this in my warmer and then when I'm ready, I'm gonna turn my broiler on and get the top of that hot and uh, brown and it's gonna be delicious. I have a really good feeling. that cabbage we're fixing to put it into the oven it looks super yummy it's just been in the warmer waiting on me so we put it together we're supposed to put this in the oven on 350 for 30 minutes or until it really gets bubbly and it's pretty much done so let me stick that in there real quick Ooh, on 350 and guys it's a wrap I usually do not make two new vegetables on the same day just in case they're not good, but I'm confident. These are going to be delicious. My son's just pulling up, so I've got just enough time to start getting my pork chops together. Okay, I've just got to show you. Seriously, I think I'm kidding, but this, this kitchen, I have been cooking <laughs> sweet treats and prepping. Look, I got a million paper towels. <laughs> Y'all can laugh at me because my kitchen never looks like this, and I just dropped my paprika. So I've got a mess to clean up, and I want to enjoy my son, so... <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. If you, could, if you have any questions, just send me a message, okay? Bye.